welcome everyone to another GTA 5 mod review and today we're going to review Knight Rider mod so in order to activate the mod you might want to press num plus so let's do it by pressing num 1 there is a car driving near to you and as soon as you reach it the door opens so let's get into it and of course let's turn the music off and possibly change the weather so as you can see this bridge brings you 4 GT or Dominator I believe in the game of GTA 5 and the thing about this game it's you can there is no way you can destroy it it's fully armored no matter fucking what you're gonna do you can uh, you can shoot rockets you do whatever and it's full of upgrades, so it goes in ridiculously fast speed, as you can see right now. It just goes freaking fast. So, let's get into mod details. So, what does it do? Well, there are different functions. First, there is an attack mod, which is, can be activated by numpad 0. Which, I'm not really sure what it does, because whenever I press it, it doesn't do shit. Well, it seems like it changed the appearance of a car a little bit. So maybe that's what it does, because the uh, author of this mod didn't specify really in the description. So let's move to the different uh, function. Next function is a uh, drive to the waypoint. So go to the map, pretty much put the waypoint anywhere you want in the map. So let's see, we have a waypoint pretty much. 0.32 miles away from us and then you press now pad 2 and then that does it for you as you can see I'm not driving at all I'm not moving anything and then just just follow GPS just for you and yeah that's pretty much what it does it's pretty cool I mean it doesn't really matter much because driving is still probably a bit faster but at the same time it kind of makes the game unique so let's get into the destination and then move to other functions. So here we are. We are now in the waypoint that we marked. Moving on, there is other crews. Other crews can be activated by numpad 3 and what it does just draws around. So let's try it. And don't worry about the nitro mode, it's just from the previous update and just can be activated by numpad 3. So I can see it just drives around and just to stop it just press pretty much S to stop the car and we'll stop it for you. Moving next there is a sky mod which can be hit by numpad 4 and 6. Huh I didn't really try it yet, try it yet so let's do it. Oh okay so it just moves the car um, to say do this for example. Which is pretty sick. And by the way, you can press shift to punch a car to the top or to push a car to the top to jump certain things. Which is pretty neat. Yeah, it's not bad. Let's see what's next. Next thing we can do is uh, to remove police just by pressing num 7. And we don't have any police, so it's not really showable. Next thing is pretty fucking cool. Next thing is the EMP. So, but to activate an EMP, you need to drive to the closest car. And what you do, pretty much, you just press num 8 or num 8. And what it does, you just sip as a car. So, you can see in front of me there is a car. So, let's press num 8 now. As you can see, the engine starts going to smoke and the car just. It's not drivable, it's dead. Which is, I would say it's really nice. I never seen this in GTA 5 and it would probably be cool to record some videos or whatnot. So let's try it again. Number 8. Now. Boom. The engine is off. EMP is working. Same again. Boom. Car is dead. So that's much what EMP does. Um, you'll, it does probably in about... 10 to 15 feet away from you and that's about it 
Oh, and by the way, we missed the rocket mode, which one shoots a rocket out of your car. And to activate it, you press num lock 5 or num 5. To do that, just drive around the car. Let's see. There you go. Shoots a rocket from your car. It's free. It's not bad. It kind of feels like it shoots a grenade from your car, but you know. It still works pretty well. Moving next, there is a turbo boost, which we already used by pressing shift. It's not that the turbo boost just makes a car jump, which is kind of ridiculous and stupid, really, by calling a turbo boost, but it's still nice because it can jump a car in front of you. Like, there's a, there's a cop block, and yeah, that's what pretty much this mod does. It's all just. I mod it. It doesn't do much, but it's still pretty fun because it's pretty unique. And hopefully the author will release more uh, updates and versions of this mod because this is this is a really sick idea. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you like more videos of GTA 5 mod reviews, just subscribe for more. And yeah, thank you. Bye.